Today we're going to go over creating custom window divisions in IVMS 4200. Start by selecting Main View tab on the home screen. In the lower right hand corner, click the Window Division button. After that opens up, click Edit under Custom Window Division. A new screen will appear and just select the Add button in the upper left hand corner. Name the custom window division whatever you would like to name it. For my purposes today, I'm going to create a new window division called Office and Home. I want to be able to view the important cameras at the office in large windows and the lesser important cameras in smaller windows. Highlight the tiles that you would like to combine and click Join. You can arrange the tiles any way that you'd like, combine any windows that you would like to make your viewing experience easy and seamless. Make sure that you create something that makes sense to you. If there's another individual who uses your computer uh, and they want to create their own custom views, they can do that as well. When you're finished, click Save and you'll see uh, the window appear at the bottom that says Saving Succeeded. Close out of that and then in the lower right hand corner select the custom window division that you just created. Now go through and drag and drop the cameras uh, that you would like to see and the windows you would like to see them. You'll notice that I'm dragging cameras from three different groups in the left hand side of the screen. These cameras are actually coming from four different locations. Two in Granby, one in East Granby, and one in New Hampshire. So you can see how easy it is to add multiple recorders into one screen and live view all of them at the same time. In the full screen mode or in the screen we were just in, in the lower right hand corner of each window you can click switch to instant playback and you can instantly playback up to 10 minutes of video. Drag and click on the timeline where you would like to play the video back. Now, Notice that all, in all of the other windows, it's still playing live video. This way you're not switching out of live view to see what just happened. If you have an incident come up where you need to quickly see what happened a few seconds ago on one camera while continuing to view live in another, that can be done easily. Thank you so much and have a great day.